Now let's work in Physics Editor. The first thing to do after installing and run the program is to set the exporter to Corona. After that, let's import our logo. And I'm going to import it from the uh, auto generated uh, PNG created by Quick. So it's uh, under our project name, building folder, and it's P1 logo PNG. So Next step is to draw the path around the, the logo. We can do it, uh, it using one of the several options from Physics Editor, but I prefer to use the magic wand. So as you can see, it picked, uh, it picked just uh, one part of the logo, and that's fine. We're going to set a tolerance of 2. Uh, the, the larger the tolerance, less vertex, less points it will create, but it will be more complicated to, to draw. Let me just show you quickly here. If we put 6, for example, you see less vertex, uh, but it's not like a, a circle anymore. So I'm going to keep 2 for, for now. And we have to do the same with all other parts of the logo. Let's select the quick. Okay, we can pick now the last letter K and the last two. And all we have to do now is to publish it. I'm going to use the poly name. And that's it. That poly file that I just created, I mean physics editor just created, has all the things that we need for the integration. Let's see it in Photoshop now. Back in Photoshop, let's edit the body logo again. Now let's use the polygon, select import from physics editor, and point into our poly Lua file. Click save, and let's preview again. Now you see via the hybrid view that we have the exactly design of the logo. And if you keep playing, you can even see some balls are falling uh, between the letters and the numbers. Let's go back to Photoshop and edit the physics again, just to remove the, the hybrid and move back to normal. Save. And when we publish again, we have uh, the balls falling between the logo. And that's it. Enjoy!